hello everyone welcome to the class in this video i am going to explain about ampolang and its a synthetic applications this video is the continuation of previous video that is ampolang where we have discussed about the concept of ampolang ampolang is reversal of polarity that means the chemical modification of a functional group with the aim of reversal of polarity which is generally not possible with that particular functional group in previous video we have discussed about the ampolang reagents such as alpha haloketones and the cyanides with their in retrosynthetic analysis and we have discussed about the best classical example for this ampolang reagent that is 13 dithionyls 13 dithionyls are cyclic thioacetates which can be prepared from aldehydes by treating with 13 propane dithiol in presence of bronsted acid or lewis acid you will get a cyclic molecule that is 13 dithiene and we have discussed about the mechan mechanism involved in this process and end up with the cyclic molecule that is 13 dithiene in this molecule the second position hydrogen which is weakly acidic that means it has pka 31 so that this can be easily abstracted by a base that means n-butyllithium which gives you a carbonium that means nucleophile that is 2 lithio 13 dithiene so in this process we have observed there is a reversal of polarity that means the electro positive nature of this carbonyl carbon is converted to nucleophilic character which is generally not possible that is actually reversal of polarity that is also called as ampolang ampolang so that means you have generated a nucleophilic center at the second position that means the carbonyl carbon which is not possible with the original functional group once you have generated this nucleophilic center here this lithiated dithiones act as a good nucleophilic acylating agents this lithiated 13 dithiene can be viewed as an masked acyl anion that means at this position second position it is a acyl anion that is able to react with the various electrophiles that means if you treat with this this nucleophile with the, any electrophile for example like this so this nucleophile this nucleophilic carbon acyl carbon which reacts with this acyl sorry electrophile which gives you di substituted dithiones this reaction is called cori sibox reaction or sibox ampolang in this case what you are observing you have started this reaction with 13 dithiene where this can be prepared from aldehyde this carbonyl carbon is generally electrophilic carbon this converted to nucleophilic carbon that means you are doing reversal of polarity this nucleophilic carbon reacts with the electrophiles different kind of electrophiles which gives you di substituted 13 dithiene once this process over you just do the hydrolysis process with the help of mercuric salts in thf or astonatal solvent you will end up with the keto derivatives this is called cori sibox reaction now once that lithiated dithiene reacts with the electrophiles once you have generated di substituted dithiene next you are doing hydrolysis of this 13 dithienes so let us discuss about the mechanism involved in this hydrolysis so in this process you are doing a hydrolysis of this di substituted dithiene with the mercuric salts that means hcl to mercuric chloride in estonatal solvent or thf which gives you deprotected carbonyl compounds so let us discuss about the mechanism involved in this hydrolysis process let us 
consider this sulfur with the nucleophile can act as a nucleophile it reacts with the electrophilic metal there is a loss of chloride gives you a sulfonium ion followed by the ring cleavage you see another electrophilic carbon which further reacts with the nucleophile that is water followed by the loss of this 1 3 propane dithiol dithiol gives you your deprotected deprotected carbonyl compound this further hydrolysis gives you your 1 3 propane dithiol this is all about the mechanism involved in the hydrolysis of this 1 3 dithiol so in this total process we have converted the carbonyl electrophilic carbon to nucleophilic character that means reversal of polarity happened with that nucleophilic carbon we have combined with the different kind of electrophiles so that means you have different kind of electrophiles in organic synthesis you can combine with uh, all kind of electrophiles so let us discuss about the synthetic applications of this ampolang that means polarity reversed 1 3 dithiene let us start with the first application that is alkylation that means suppose if you have a carbonyl compound that is aldehyde treat with 1 3 propane dithiol presence of either bronchid acid or lewis acid which gives you 1 3 dithiene this 1 3 dithiene treat with n beta lithium in th of solvent at the low temperature it generates two lithio or lithiated 1 3 dithiene which is a good source of nucleophile now this one if you treat with the alkyl halide generally what happened there is a attack of nucleophile takes place onto this electrophile that means s into kind of reaction takes place here which gives you di substituted dithiene once your nucleophile add to the electrophile you can do the hydrolysis of this di substituted dithiene you will end up with the ketone if you observe carefully your starting material is aldehyde here so this aldehyde after this organic that is chemical transformation you have converted to ketone so that means so 1 3 dithions are also useful for the conversion of aldehydes to ketones so this process is alkylation process that means where this nucleophilic lithiated 1 3 dithion reacts with the either primary or secondary alkyl halides which gives you di substituted dithions which undergoes hydrolysis further undergoes hydrolysis gives you the required ketone next the other application is the reaction of this lithiated 1 3 dithane with the epoxides reaction with the epoxides okay. so that means Take a small starting metal that is aldehyde, treat with the 1 3 propane thiol in the 
presence of bronchial acid or lewis acid followed by treat this one with n beta lithium and thf which gives you a lithiated 1,3 dithiene now treat this one with the epoxide epoxide where there are two carbons one is more substituted carbon and one more is less substituted carbon these two carbons are attached with the more electronegative atom so that these carbons are getting electro positive nature okay so that means electrophilic carbon centers so there are two electrophilic positive that means electrophilic carbon centers you have so these one three dithyanes generally attack at the less substituted site in this epoxides and gives you the ring open products once you get this dye substituted 1,3 dithion, do the hydrolysis and get the beta hydroxy ketones. So what we have observed here, when you have, when you treat this lithiated, lithiated 1,3 dithion with the epoxides, generally they produce beta hydroxy ketones. This is one kind of application with this one thing. The other application is reaction of this lithiated 1,3 dithyanes with the carbonyl compounds. Carbonyl compounds. So we need to generate a lithiated 1,3 dithyane. Start with the aldehyde and treat this one with the 1,3 propane dithyol in presence of. Lewis acid or bronchial acid followed by treat this with the n beta lithium THF which gives you lithiated 1,3 dithyane which is the best nucleophile. Now this one if we treat with the aldehyde, treat with one more mole of aldehyde. What happens? Generally, aldehydes are the best carbonyl compounds undergo nucleophilic addition reactions. So, that the nucleophilic addition reaction gives you this. If you do hydrolysis, you will get alpha hydroxy ketones. Ketones. Okay. So in earlier <coughs> application, when you treat this lithiated 1,3 dithyene with epoxides, generally they produce beta hydroxy ketones. Whereas in this case, you are getting alpha hydroxy ketones. The same lithiated 1,3 dithyene, if you treat with the ketone okay, ketone again the same nucleophilic addition reaction takes place here it gives you a di substituted dithyene then do the hydrolysis is one more application where the lithiated 1,3 dithyene when you treat with the either aldehydes or ketones that means if you treat with carbonyl compounds generally they produce alpha hydroxy ketone. The next application is the reaction of this lithiated 1,3 dithyanes with the alpha beta unsaturated 
carbonyl compounds. So once you have generated this lithiated 13 dithiene lithiated 13 dithiene if you treat with alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compound it gives you a product but this product is generally dip has two possibilities that means there are two electrophilic centers you have so the carbon which is directly attached to this oxygen is hard electrophile and the carbon which is present here that is soft electrophile so the nucleophile this nucleophilic that is this nucleophilic lithiated on 3 dithene can attack in this both either this odd electrophile which is called 1 2 addition or it can attack at the 1 4 position that means you can get two possibilities here 1 2 addi addition and 1 1 4 addition possibilities are there so this 1 2 addition or 1 4 addition is completely depends on the the reaction conditions what you are using here suppose if you perform this reaction Okay. If you perform this reaction in THF solvent, THF solvent, tetrahydrofuran, tetrahydrofuran at low temperature, that means minus 33 degrees Celsius, this gives you a 1 2 addition product 1 2 addition product that means this nucleophilic nucleophile attack at the hard electrophile yes suppose the same reaction if you carried out in hmpa okay, hmpa at minus 70 degrees celsius okay this reaction gives you 1 4 addition product so that means this addition at 1 2 or 1 4 is generally depends on the reaction conditions so 1 2 addition product you will get when you perform this reaction in th of solvent whereas 1 4 addition product you will get when you perform this reaction with the, that is in hm PA HMPA. So, what is HMPA? Hexamethyl hexamethyl phosphoramide phosphoramide phosphoramide. Okay, that means there are totally six methyls you have. Okay, hexamethyl phosphoramide. Okay, this is one kind of application of lithiated 13 dithiones. When you treat with the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound, they give you both 1, 2 as well as 1, 4 addition products depends on the reaction conditions. The next application is the reaction of lithiated 1, 3 dithanes with the nitriles or cyanides. That means treat aldehyde with the 1, propane ethyl in terms of Lewis acid Lewis acid or Ronsted acid followed by treat this with base THF it gives you a lithiated lithiated nucleophile okay lithiated nucleophile this lithiated nucleophile treat with nitrile what happens this is a nucleophile which attacks at the electrophilic carbon gives you an addict. This addict further hydrolysis gives you a disubstituted dithiene followed by once you deprotect this with the mercury salt you will end up with the 
correct that is generally vinyl dicarbonyl compound vinyl dicarbonyl compounds are one to diketones one to diketones okay so this is one more example where the lithiated lithiated 13 dithium reacts with the nitrile followed by hydrolysis which generates one to diketones which are very good starting materials in organic synthesis the next application is reaction of this lithiated 13 dithium with the acid halides acid halides that means what all you are doing reactions with something they contain electrophilic centers because your lithiated 13 dithium acts as a nucleophile let us take the formaldehyde and treat this formaldehyde with the 13 propane dithium presence of branched acid or lewis acid followed by treat this one with the nbd lithium thf which gives you lithiated 13 by thein now what is your another substrate that is acid chloride okay since this acid chloride carbonyl carbon is electrophilic center so you have nucleophile attack this nucleophile on this electrophile and further hydrolysis of this 13 so one yeah so dye substituted 13 dithions gives you keto aldehydes keto aldehyde keto aldehyde is the product when when you treat this one mole of this lithiated 13 dithiene with the acid chloride after hydrolysis you will get keto aldehyde in another case suppose formaldehyde and treat with 13 propane dithiol in presence of either branched acid or lewis acid followed by nbd lithium the this treatment of base gives you the lithiated 13 dithiol suppose if you treat with one mole of acid halide or acid halide you will get a di substituted 13 dithiene suppose if you continue this 13 12 sorry di di substituted 13 dithiene with the, the treatment of another mole of nbd lithium what happens this proton will abstract by this base and gives you lithiated 13 dithiene again if you treat with the second mole of acid chloride this nucleophile attack at this electrophile and gives you a di substituted di acyl substituted 13 di thiene do the hydrolysis with the mercury chloride gives you One, two, three, tri ketones. Okay, you are getting tri ketones. So, what you have done in this case? The first case you are repeating. That means you are treating formaldehyde 
gas formaldehyde with 13 propendyl thiol in presence of protic acid or Lewis acid followed by treatment with the base which produces a lithiated 13 diethylene which is a nucleophile. You are treating first mole of one mole of one mole of acid chloride okay which gives you disubstituted I mean suppose uh, yeah disubstituted 13 diethylene which is one is acyl substituted now you have one one acidic proton here okay so you can treat with one more mole of in metal lithium which generates a lithium lithiated 13 diethylene this lithiated 13 diethylene if you treat with the second mole of second mole of acid chloride which gives you a diacyl substituted 13 diethylene further you can do hydrolysis of this substituted diethylene gives you triketones this is also one kind of important application with this lithiated 13 diethylene let us discuss another case where again start with the formaldehyde and treat with the 13 propane diethyl in presence of bromsted acid or lewis acid followed by treatment with the base which produces a lithiated 13 diethyl this lithiated 13 diethyl adds to the carbonyl carbon that means there is an addition that means there is a nucleophilic attack takes place at this electrophilic center which gives you monoazyl monoazyl substituted 13 diethyl this 13 diethyl which is having a keto group here okay keto group here so if you take if you take another mole of mole of lithiated 13 diethyl which acts as a nucleophile okay this can attack this can attack at this electrophilic carbon in this mono azyl substituted 13 diethyl which gives you which gives you here double addition so if you observe that there is a double addition first nucleophilic attack at this electrophilic center electrophilic carbon center and followed by one more nucleophile adds to this carbonyl carbon okay do the hydrolysis of this 13 diethyl which gives you gives you a carbinol okay it gives you carbinol product okay there are three cases we have discussed in the first case the formaldehyde the formaldehyde protected with the 13 propane diethyl 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 in presence of protic acid or bronsted acid or bronsted acid or lewis acid followed by treatment of base generated a lithiated 13 diethyl this lithiated 13 diethyl directly reacts with the azyl halide gives you monoazyl product followed by the hydrolysis of this monoazyl product gives you keto aldehyde that is first case then the second case what we have done once you get this uh, monoazyl monoazyl 13 diethyl if you treat this molecule with another mole of in between lithium which abstract this proton with the weakly acidic proton and generated one more nucleophilic center so that reaction with the one more mole of acyl halide followed by hydrolysis gives you triketones in the third case same the lithiated 13 diethyl reacts with the, this acid halide produces acylated monoacylated 13 diethyl followed by treatment of one more lithiated 13 diethyl which undergoes nucleophilic addition reaction followed by hydrolysis with mercuric salt gives you carbinol product 
so there are three cases we can discuss in the case of acid halides with the treatment of lithiated 1,3 dithiate the next application is the reaction of this lithiated 1,3 dithiate with the alpha halo ketone alpha halo ketone so as you know how to generate this lithiated 1,3 dithiate by treatment of this carbonyl compound with the 1,3 propane dithiol in presence of protic acid and Lewis acid followed by treatment with the base which generated a lithiated 1,3 dithiol. Okay, dithiol. Now treat this with alpha halo ketone there is an electrophilic center you can observe which is directly connected to electron electronegative atom so that this nucleophile adds to this and there is a loss of chloride you see di substituted 1,3 dithiol followed by hydrolysis of this substituted dithiene which gives you which gives you 1,3 diketones 1,3 diketones so this is also very good application where the lithiated lithiated 1,3 dithiene lithiated 1,3 dithiene treatment with the alpha haloketone okay, which gives you 1,3 diketones which are very good starting materials in organic synthesis the other application of this lithiated 1,3 dithiene is reaction of lithiated 1,3 dithiene with the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide that is CO2 so as you know to generate this 1,3 dithiene in presence of either bronsted acid or Lewis acid followed by treatment of n lithium which gives you a lithiated 1,3 dithiene which is a very good nucleophile treat this one with the carbon dioxide which is a linear molecule where it has an electrophilic carbon center which is flanked by two electronegative atoms so this nucleophilic carbon attack onto this electrophilic carbon which gives you substituted dithiene which on further hydrolysis with the mercuric salt which produces alpha keto acid so this is also a kind of good example so far we are that means we are discussing about the ampulang synthetic applications Ampolang synthetic application means you are just converting this electrophilic carbon, carbonyl carbon to nucleophilic, nucleophilic carbon, carbonyl carbon, that is nucleophilic carbon, that means you are doing a reversal of polarity, that is what we have discussed in the ampolang nature, a reversal of polarity where the functional group, functional group, one functional group on chemical modification which gives you another characteristic. Okay, reversal of polarity takes place which gives us secondary reactions which is not possible with the general functional group okay the same functional group it is not possible with this secondary reactions that means suppose if you want to treat this carbonyl compound with this co2 no possible because this electrophilic carbon this has electrophilic carbon and this has electrophilic carbon you need 
we need to continue a reaction with the nucleophile and electrophile so that we need to have a nucleophile so that we are con converting this electrophilic carbon carbonyl carbon to nucleophilic carbon so that this is this concept is ampollong concept this ampollong reagent reacts with the further reactions that means secondary reactions gives you products that means which are not possible with the general function groups okay this is one kind of application where you are getting alpha keto acids when you treat lithiated one three dithane with carbon dioxide the other application is reaction of this lithiated one three dithane with the trimethyl silyl chloride trimethyl silyl chloride so as usual you have to generate first a lithiated 1,3 dithiene by treatment of now I am taking starting metal formaldehyde treat this with 1,3 propane dithiene in presence of protic acid or Lewis acid followed by treatment with the base which gives you a lithiated 1,3 dithiene which is a good nucleophile now this nucleophile treat with the trimethyl silyl chloride okay where there are two atoms the silicon which is directly connected to chlorine the chlorine is electronegative atom so that this silicon gets a partial positive charge that means we can find an electrophilic center here you have a lithiated 1,3 dithiene which is a nucleophile attack at this electrophilic silicon you will get substituted that is the psi m3 this is 2 that means it is present in the second position 2 trimethyl silyl silyl 1 3 Okay. Now you have another proton at the second position which is weakly acidic. Now again treat this with the one more mole of invityl lithium. Invityl lithium. So that it generates a lithiated. 1,3 dithion which is actually a nucleophile now this nucleophile treat with the aldehyde this nucleophile undergo nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction An alcohol treat this alcohol with a strong base of Lewis acid. There's a loss of trimethyl silamol takes place. Yes, you yeah. 
alpha beta unsaturated one three like this now this molecule has a weakly acidic proton so that treat with another molar base which abstract the proton generates a carbonium which is stabilized by counter cation now this nucleophile if you treat with the organo halides now nucleophilic act like this see why this charge is going to towards this carbon because if you get this negative charge in this carbon this negative charge is stabilized by the electro negative atoms electronegative atoms which are present at the adjacent positions so that is the reason this this uh, negative charge that is the carbon gets negative charge which is stable and which attacks which attacks at this electrophilic center okay now we will get a substituted product finally do the hydrolysis of this diethylene which is using an alpha beta alpha beta unsaturated carbon compounds this is also one kind of application where you can synthesize alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds from 1,3 diethylenes. this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound here so treatment of this treatment of this lithiated lithiated 13 diethyl with trimethylsilyl chloride which generated this 2 trimethylsilyl 13 diethyl which is having again an acidic proton which is abstract by this base in beta lithium further the reaction of this lithiated 13 diethylene with the aldehyde which produces an alcohol followed by the reaction with the base or Lewis acid which generates an alkene with the loss of trimethyl silanol. Next, the, this alkene again it has an acidic proton which is abstracted by the that is this acid acidic proton which is abstracted by the base in middle lithium produces a nucleophile okay, this nucleophile attack at this electrophilic center in organohalides which gives you a disubstituted 1,3 diethyl so form hydrolysis of this 1,3 disubstituted 1,3 diethyl gives you alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so in this way you can synthesize alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds so far we have discussed the synthetic applications of this lithiated 1,3 diethyls which is actually unpolung reagent that means we have, we, are, we have been discussing about the unpolung reagent, unpolung character of a reagent which is actually reversal of polarity. Once you do the reversal of polarity what kind of synthetic applications we have. So that's why we have taken a best classical example that is 1,3 diethyls. So once you have generated a lithiated, lithiated 1,3 diethyl, you can perform alkylation reaction because this lithiated 1,3 diethyl is the best nucleophile. Okay, this is a uh, nu nucleophilic acylating agent, so that this can undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions or nucleophilic addition reactions. So 
you can perform alkylation reaction that is nucleophilic substitution reaction in SN2 manner with the primary alkyl halides or secondary alkyl halides once you get this di substituted 1,3 diethanes do the hydrolysis and get the ketones in this way you can convert the aldehydes to ketones so the alkylation of this lithiated 1,3 diketones is a process of conversion of aldehydes to ketones the second application we have discussed is the reaction of this 1,3 lithiated 1,3 diethane with the epoxides generally they undergo again nucleophile substitution reaction where this nucleophile attack at this less substituted electrophilic carbon which produces beta hydroxy ketones upon hydrolysis of this 1,3 diethane a third example is the reaction of 1,3 that is lithiated 1,3 diethane with the carbonyl compound Okay. with the carbonyl compounds where this lithiated 1,3 diethane acts as a nucleophile it undergo nucleophilic addition reactions with the carbonyl compounds which gives you alpha hydroxy ketones either both with the aldehydes or ketones okay so in this way you can synthesize alpha hydroxy ketones another application the reaction of this lithiated 1,3 diethane with the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds where there are two possible products you can expect there is one two addition product and one four addition product this one two and one four ad adducts depends on the reaction conditions what we have used in the reaction for example if you treat this lithiated one three diethane with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound in thf then it gives you one two addition product whereas the same reaction if you perform in hmpa hexamethyl phosphoramide which gives you one four addition product majorly the other application is you can react you can perform a reaction of this lithiated 1,3 diethanes with the nitriles nitrile which is also having an electropositive carbon center because it is attached to electronegative atom so that this nucleophile in lithiated 1,3 diethane attack at this electrophilic center upon hydrolysis which gives you vicinal dicarbonyl okay vicinal dicarbonyl that means that means they give you one two like ketones the other application is the reaction of one three lithiated one three diethanes with the acid halides generally they give you that means the reaction of this one three lithiated one three diethane when you treat with acid halide gives you mono acylated one three diethane upon hydrolysis gives you keto aldehyde this is one case in another case this mono acyl Azylated 1,3 diethane. If you treat with another mole of base, it abstracts the proton and gives you an anion that is nucleophile. If it reacts with the second mole of acid halide, it gives you 1, 2, 3 triketones upon hydrolysis. This is one more case. In other case, this one that is this mono azylated mono azylated 1,3 diethane, which obtained from lithiated 1,3 diethane with the acyl acid halide which reacts with the another mole of lithiated 1,3 diethane which undergoes nucleophilic addition reaction which gives you carbinol as a product after hydrolysis. There are three cases we can observe where the lithiated 1,3 diethane reacts with the acid chloride. Three different type of products you can observe that is keto aldehyde that means 1 is to 1 ratio that means 1 is to 1 ratio of lithiated 1,3 diethane with the uh, acid chloride that is one case we will get keto aldehyde and one more case one is to two ratio that means one re one mole of lithiated one three diketone diketone with the two moles of two moles of acid chlorides which gives you one two three diketones another case two is to one that means two moles of lithiated one three diketone the one three sorry one three diethanes lithiated one three diethanes with one mole of acid chloride which gives you carbonyl as products so totally three cases the other application is reaction of this lithiated 1,3 di diethane with the alpha haloketones generally produce 1,3 diketones which are very good starting metals in organic synthesis upon hydrolysis and one more application is reaction with the carbon dioxide the lithiated 1,3 diethane once it reacts with the carbon dioxide Upon hydrolysis, it gives you alpha keto acids. So, 
final application, you can also synthesize alpha, beta, and saturated carbonyl compounds from this lithiated 13 dithaeans where the treatment of this lithiated 13 dithaean with the trimethyl cellulose chloride followed by reaction with the aldehyde and organic halide gives you alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and then we can and then we can also reduce this 13 dithiene which is obtained from ketone treatment with the 13 propane dithiene in presence of protic acid or Lewis acid. Okay, this 13 dithiene, if you treat with the hydrogen, that means hydrogenation process, either with the nickel, that is hydrogen in nickel or nickel, or you can treat with the hydrogen under thermal condition, under thermal condition, which gives you alkane, alkane as process. Alkane as process. So that means you can also reduce reduce this 13 dithiones to alkanes. Okay, so this process is called Mozingo method. Mozingo method. Okay, that is the conversion of ketone to alkane. You can perform using this Mozingo method. Okay, so these are all about the applications. So these are all applications related to this lithiated 13 dithiones, which is actually ampullin reagent, where the reversal of polarity happens from the electrophilic carbonyl carbon to nucleophilic carbon, which undergoes nucleophilic various nucleophilic substitution reactions or nucleophilic addition reactions. That means this nucleophilic lithiated 13 dithiene can combine different kind of electrophiles and gives you the that means Di substituted 13 dithiene, the D protection of that 13 dithiene gives you required products, different kind of corresponding products. So, these are all about ampullin. If you recap, the ampullin means it is a reversal of polarity. With the aim of reversal of polarity, you can modify a functional group from one reactivity to another reactivity. That means by changing the polarity of that particular functional group. Further, the secondary reactions of that particular modified nucleophile or modified polarity reversed species with another species that is either electrophiles or nucleophiles which generally produce different kind of products. Generally, that is not happened with the original functional group. Okay. Thank you.